Well, this afternoon, as we look high into the atmosphere, we have high pressure sitting directly overhead and high pressure causes the air in the atmosphere to sink. And as that air sinks, it suppresses any showers and storms from developing, and it also leads to some warmer temperatures at the surface. But to help try to counteract this at the surface, we have a moist airflow in place with those winds coming in from the south southeast. So we have moisture moving in not just off of the Gulf of Mexico, but as well as from the Atlantic leading to some very sticky conditions at the surface with dew points sitting in the upper 70s and 80s well into that oppressive miserable range and the combination of sticky dew points and hot temperatures well into the low to mid 90s this afternoon has led to some steamy conditions with feels like temperatures into the hundreds. It feels like 108 right now in LaBelle 107 for Ave Maria and it currently feels like 106 degrees in Cape Coral for this afternoon. It's one of those days where you just want to stay inside during those peak heating hours because of how steamy it is. And we do have a heat advisory in place across Southwest Florida until six o'clock this evening. As we check in with Wink Live Doppler 3X radar, you will notice just some very spotty rainfall at the moment, mainly dry for the rest of us. And we'll keep some isolated activity around as we progress through the rest of the afternoon and into this evening. After the sun sets, it'll be very spotty in nature. So for tonight, we can expect some isolated rain moving through. Temperatures going to be mild in the 80s under partly cloudy skies. As we head into our Friday, we're going to be starting off the day with some patchy fog, but dry through the lunch hour. And then around 2, 3 o'clock, we will begin to see some showers and storms streaming in. Scattered activity looking to hang around 5, 6, 7 o'clock. And then around 8 and 9 o'clock, we will see the activity become more isolated and spotty in nature. And then just a couple of showers as we head into those late evening hours of our Friday night. So for tomorrow morning, temperature is going to be starting off mid to upper 70s. Again, patchy fog during those early morning hours. And then as we progress into the afternoon, we can expect temperatures to be topping out in the low 90s. Once you factor in all of that moisture at the surface, it's going to be feeling more like the hundreds. Expecting that peak heat index value in Fort Myers close to about 106 degrees for tomorrow afternoon. Now taking a look out in the tropics, boy oh boy, do we have a lot going on. But the good news is everything does have have a very low end chance of developing. Now these first two waves that you will see closer to Africa dealing with a little bit of Saharan dust and most of these waves actually dealing with some strong upper level winds. So development is not promising with most of these systems and for us here in Southwest Florida currently not really seeing anything to worry about over the next seven days. Back locally, we're looking at scattered showers and storms for the rest of this week as we progress into the weekend. And even into next week, you'll want to keep that rain gear handy. As for our temperatures overnight, mid to upper 70s. And during the day, we can expect those highs in the low 90s.